Hey, it's Joe Glantz from The Automator, and I wanted to share a little bit of stuff uh, I learned from that study I did a while ago. Uh, I don't want to share everything because some of it's you know confidential data, but I think there's some stuff here you'll find interesting. So um, it, overall, you know, the distribution of people using AutoHotKey, I had 249 respondents. Uh, very distributed, right? Some people using it over 10 years. Um, you know, uh, one in five using it between five to 10 years. And then, you know, we had 8%, let's see, that's a 23, nearly a quarter, less than six months, right? So quite a big diversity there, uh, which is great. And that's the thing, AutoHotKey, some people stick with it for a long time and then a lot of people pop into it and they're new for a while. And then, you know, they, they stop using it, I think as much, hopefully not entirely. Uh, our next one here, this is the one I really want to make the video about. And I added a lot of stuff on the screen here, so it looks terrible. But um, I wanted to to give them here. I'll put them in the descriptions as well. Uh, but I wanted to help make sure you guys, you know, besides watching my videos, not that I don't want you to do that, uh, there's some great other places to get information. So uh, two third, over two thirds, sixty nine percent, we're using the AutoHotKey forum, and so that this is where if you go to autohotkey.com/boards, uh, you can go there and search and find an amazing amount of data, uh, different posts on different topics and there's different forums and sub forums a uh, great amount of information if you're not using the forum use it make sure you use it use it wisely you know search it well and then uh, if you're going to make a post you know make sure you uh you know provide some of your code uh, first look to see if the answer is already out there and then if it's not you know provide your code some of the code the relevant code um, and especially if your code is really long you know just put the relevant stuff there parse it out so it makes it a lot easier for someone uh, YouTube, nearly half, which isn't um, a, an overly big surprise to me, mainly because, you know, I posted a link to the video in YouTube, right? So that biases, you can't use this as a perfect distribution of the general uh, usage of, of everybody because I used uh, YouTube as a source for recruiting for the survey, right? However, it's still, I didn't want to mention, if you're not already, you now subscribe to uh, my channel. This is my channel here. And Civ Reborn does a lot of really great stuff on GUIs, and he does some auto-clicking stuff. So if you're into gaming and stuff, you might want to do that stuff. I personally don't have any interest in the auto-clicking for gaming, so I don't do that. But uh, he, he has a lot of great stuff on GUIs. I learned a lot. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't retain it because I haven't used it in a while. <laughs> but he, he's done a lot of videos on GUIs, so it's really good. Uh, the subreddit on AutoHotKey, so thir um, a third use it and what I should have said yeah they use it at least monthly right are using the subreddit now there is a fair amount of stuff the nice thing about this subreddit is there's generally speaking people there that will you know when you post when you post even on the auto hockey forum people will answer questions and by the way when you post to YouTube uh, a question you know I try to get to it that day uh, if I can um, right now I'm moving and it's hard I don't have internet at my other house so it's it's not that easy but I do try to get on it that day uh, but the uh, subreddit here, it's it's a little more active, I think, with people hanging out there and doing stuff than the forums are. So it is a great place to get some help. Um, having said that, there are some people there that, uh, I don't know how to say it, they're moody, to, for lack of a better term. Um, they keep flagging my stuff as spam, even though I'm, you know, the webinars, right? I'm teaching people how to hockey and they flag it as spam or, you know, whatever, downvote it. And I, I don't understand. I mean, people... What do you want? Um, I'm doing stuff for free, you know, charging nothing, making, you know, I, it costs me money. Anyway, I don't want to get there, but it is a little frustrating for me. So I, I, I may stop posting to subreddit. I would, I'm not going to recommend that you don't use it. Just for me, it's a little aggravating. So uh, it is a good source, though. Not so much to me about the history of stuff. You know, I, w I wouldn't necessarily go there to find a solution already done. They do have, the nice thing is it's like an archive, you know, you can search it. However, it's more if I wanted some immediate help, there are people often hanging out there. Um, obviously, hey, what's this? The Automator site. Oh, yeah, okay, that's my site. Go check it out. I got a lot of stuff, especially on web scraping, on Excel. Um, my auto, auto uh, automate my task. Um, that is for, you know, for clicking, but it's not a speed clicker. It's not for gaming, right? But it is when you can't use like calm or uh, controls or something, then it's a, it's a good way to, to do stuff. Uh, Stack Overflow is a great source of information. So only one in four, 25, 23%, but one in four are using uh, Stack Overflow. You know, uh, the first two places I search uh, is the AutoHotKey Forum and Stack Overflow. So I, I do recommend you really take a look at, you know, when you're trying to find a solution, go to Stack Overflow. This link here, and again, all these will be in the description. 
will bring you up with uh, things tagged specifically about AutoHotKey. However, you know, if you're at least beginning to get a little advanced in programming, I shouldn't say even advanced, right? Intermediate. Um, you can, especially if you're doing stuff around COM, you can find solutions for VBA uh, that people have solved in VBA, and it's very, very easy to convert VBA to COM for AutoHotKey. So, uh, and often you'll find the solutions, like I'm trying to do something in Excel, I search the forum, there's nothing there, there's nothing in uh, Reddit or my site, like I said, I have a lot of stuff. Then I'll search Stack Overflow, but I first, I actually limit it to AutoHotKey, and I also remove that restriction for auto hotkey posts because for Excel, uh, I can adapt that VBA code. So that's a good source. Uh, Jack's auto hotkey blob, uh, blog. I think that's uh, well, one in eight, I think roughly uh, 15% are going there. He, he has, you know, a lot of good articles, very detailed articles, plus a lot of books. I think two of them are free. Again, check those out. It's a great, I like to read them, buy them, print them and read them and highlight them. That's how I learn. Uh, so it's a really good source of, of that and his, uh, computer edge, I think is the other, uh, site, but, um, either one of those, if you just search for Jack Dunning, uh, oh, here it is right here, computer edge, uh, but Jack Dunning, uh, you'll find his, his books. They're also on Amazon. Now discord, this is the one, if you want live help, right? A lot of people, they'll write me like on Facebook and messenger and ask to how, how to solve a problem. Personally, I, one is to me, the Facebook Messenger is a personal thing and I, and I, don't, I don't want people reaching out to me personally on, you know, in my Facebook stuff. Uh, but generally speaking, um, I don't like to solve people's problems when they write me directly like that offline because I'm not, I'm only helping that one person, right? And I only have a limited amount of time and I, I that's why I will reply to the YouTube video stuff. You know, when people put a comment into YouTube, I will almost always reply to that and try to help you or at least point in the right direction. But when you message me personally, and this is just me, um, I'm not that likely to actually take action on it because I'm only helping you and there's no way to share that. Other people can't search it, they can't find it. And it's just, you know, it's a, it, it's, it's a time suck. And, and of course I get a lot of people doing this and I just don't have the bandwidth to be helping everybody individually. So um, Discord, this is the number one place I drive people to when they need help, when they need someone to actually talk through and do stuff. And if I don't have, if I have the bandwidth, I, I don't mind trying. But um, Discord is a great place to go for live support and people are hanging out there and they're more than welcome to um, help you. you. You can share screens. Uh, now, this, this URL here you can go to. However, um, this other URL, and again, use the description here to get them. Uh, you need to use that to get an invite to join that auto hotkey form. So um, it is, a, it's a really great place. I don't hang out there just because I just don't have the time again for helping people one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, but it is a really great place. Uh, and I think you can kind of search the history of stuff there of what other people have done. Um, I, again, I don't really use it a lot. Um, you know, wow, one in 10, nearly one in 10, uh, 9% don't do anything. That's, uh, that's scary. You guys gotta get on it, man. Um, ask for help, you know, search, go, go to places and read more uh, auto hotkey, you know, you step into it and you think, oh, well, what is, you know, some people stumble upon it and they kind of use it for one little thing, like maybe launching a script or using a hot string. Uh, it has so much more capabilities. It's insane how many things you can do with it uh, and how it, it honestly changed my life. Right. And, and I think it can pretty much change almost anyone's life that's using a windows computer, you know, regularly. Uh, so, so put in your schedule, do a little more on it. Don't, don't let this be you, right? Um, unless you're one of those people that have over 10 years and you don't need to go look for it, uh, right? But even then, I think almost everyone, I mean, the, the most advanced programmers I know, uh, still, they don't know everything, right? And they, they go, which reminds me, let me jump past the Facebook group, this other write-in. Uh, I should have listed the auto hockey documentation because there was a fair amount of people that wrote that in and that is a, it is a really great source, right? Use that auto hockey documentation, both in site and auto hockey studio. You can hit one, F1 on the, uh, the word that you're looking for, you know, and it'll pull up the support, the auto hockey support, uh, help. And it's a really, really great, you know, the examples, especially when you scroll down and you can read the top part, which is more of a programming explanation. But when you scroll down, you'll find a working example in everything. And that's my go-to. Like I'll, I'll glance at the top, but I go to the bottom to the, see the example and just see if I can intuitively figure out what they're doing. All right, so back to Facebook. Um, there's, that I'm aware of, at least five Facebook groups. This one is the largest one, happens to be mine also. So, uh, Mine are, you know, it's, it's our auto hotkey stuff, uh, the automators, uh, Facebook group, but, um, there's over a thousand members there. 
Uh, I wouldn't go there for very deep uh, learning, but there are people that are that hang out there and they're, um, you know, so for live support for a quick question for something simple when you're brand new to auto hockey, I think it's a good source for that, right? I wouldn't go there for solving how to do, oh, I don't know, something advanced in Excel, right? There's no e there's no good searchable. You can search it, don't get me wrong, but it's not like the forums where you have thousands of, of different posts on, you know, on Excel alone or something, right? So uh, it is it is a good source. It is, it's a great place. What I love is to meet like-minded people, right? So it's the social aspect of it, uh, which brings me also to the last one, the LinkedIn groups. These Here are two, um, you know, they're the only two that I'm aware of. Um, one of them's larger than the other, but I'd say join both. And here's another, you know, really important thing. Add auto hotkey to your uh, uh, LinkedIn profile, right? Because you know, if you want in any way for people to ever possibly hire you for some work uh, for it, it's a great way. And it's also just looks looks good, you know, kind of like on your resume in that you're thinking um, smarter and working smarter, not harder, right? Um, and, and there's headhunters sometimes out there looking for this kind of stuff, and it's great to have it in there. Also, connect with me. Um, LinkedIn is a great way to, you know, to... to get a potential new job offer or find a job um, and just network with other people. I have over 16,000 first level connections on LinkedIn. So when you connect with me, your second level of connections will, will jump significantly with how many people you can connect to. So um, I'll put the link in the description down here. I should have had it up here. Uh, I think it's just LinkedIn to slash Joe Glines. Uh, but anyway, I'll put the link in the description. So I hope that helps. Um, again, use you know use these resources there it's an amazing amount out there i i personally went like over two years now i was reading the auto hotkey forum daily like when i went back to work at ti in my job under internet marketing instead of uh, research and i was reading the auto hockey forum daily spending hours you know reading it learning object oriented stuff but I was very hesitant to post a question because I was just worried I was going to be, you know, people would realize what an idiot I am. And hey, they, they know that anyway. Um, but don't be afraid to post a question to the forum. You know, the other big thing I would say, and I'm kind of working on something on the side, I'll explain it uh, in a bit later. Uh, but the uh, don't be afraid to, to post a question and to find like a mentor. Find someone who's, you know, knows what they're doing on your topic of what you're trying to learn. Right. Usually when you find someone that's a niche, like that's how Jackie and I really started talking together. I was I finally started posting questions on the forum and he happened to be the one answering several of my questions. And, and we realized, you know, finally, I, I realized he had his own website, uh, JSZ app. He doesn't update it anymore. Otherwise, I would have had it in here. But uh, we both had this very common area that we worked in. And so then at some point we said, hey, why don't we have a call on Hangouts? And, yeah, that was, boy, I don't know, like four or five years ago now. And, uh, you know, and we, you know, a great friendship developed and, you know, we, we bounce ideas off of him. You know, he, he, he will bounce other types of questions off of me, but when I have a programming question, I will bounce it off of him. Or, you know, I have a list of probably five to six people that when I get stuck in something, I first search the auto hockey forum. I search uh, stack overflow. Um, I search those two things immediately. And if I can't find anything, then I will ping um, a couple of my close friends that have done a lot of stuff in auto hotkey and ask them if they have, they have ever touched on it or know anything about it. Um, often they have, you know, worked on a little and they can give me either an example script or some one-on-one -on -one coaching, you know, to step into it. Uh, but it's, it's so great having it. Like you, I posted on here many of the, uh, tutorials where Maestruth will just, will be working. And there's actually several I haven't posted, which at some point I got to go back. They're years old now, but, um, where we'll spend like four hours, you know, and he's teaching me, you know, he's coding, but I'm watching him how he's coding my work because I'm paying him. And uh, I've learned, you know, oodles just by watching him. And when when people develop on your code as opposed to some, some other random stuff, it's so much easier to absorb and learn. So anyway, I hope you found that helpful. I hope you guys are doing well. Hopefully in another week or so, I'll, I'll actually have internet at my, my new house. Uh, it's been like a week and a half or two weeks, and I still have yet to get internet there. So I'm, I'm getting tired of driving out here every day, but hope that helps. Cheers.